Hey, great that you're back. Today we have a look together at IQ fields, at how I set up my activity screens and my uh, the single data fields in these screens. And basically it's very easy. I always love to do it with the Connect app because I think it's much more easier than doing it via a laptop or PC. So right now, first thing you have to do, of course your watch has to be connected with the app. You tap on your watch and you go down to activity, apps and more. Here you have the chance to either choose new activities or new data fields. So in this case we would like to add a new data field. As you can see these are the fields that are installed on my watch which does not mean that they are activated in the data field uh, in the activity screen because you can only activate two IQ fields at a time maximum. So keep that in mind. In this screen when they are installed on your watch you can do all the setup things for this uh, um, different IQ fields. You can do it from the app. So if you like to have new fields you get connect to the IQ store. Here you choose the field you like to have, you tap on it, you download it and then it will first appear in this section because it is not installed. If you tap on it then and you say install then it will be sent to your watch next time you synchronize your watch. So but you have to do first all the setup things here as soon as it is installed on your watch it makes things much easier. Now let's have a look at the watch. Here you tap on the upper button. You choose the activity you like to um, um, you know, to add this field to or to, to change the activity screens, you hold the middle button to get to this menu. Then you go to run settings and then you go to data screens. Here you have already all the screens that are, that you have installed. As you can see my, my stride field is it already installed. It scrolls now through my zones and it tells me my critical power and stuff like that. I love that field, it's awesome. And um, you can see all the fields you have installed. If you push the little pencil thing here you can change any of these fields. You can change the layout from four fields up to six fields on the S or up to eight fields on the, on the regular six or 6x models. If you want to change the layout push this one and then you you know you can rearrange stuff but I like to have it that way. And then you can decide what is showed in field number one, in field number two and so on. And you select it and here you can I I cannot activate another uh, IQ field because you can have only two as I said before. They are all activated but that would be the way you can, um, you can enable and disable the IQ fields in your activities and have it looking the way you like to have it. So that's basically how you can do it. As you can see these are the stride zones. I could change now the field that I say no I want to have dozen run there or graphical evaluation or Strava uh, relative effort but that would mean I would deactivate the stride zones but I want to have this field. So, so that is basically how you can set up all these um, data screens in your activity and all the single fields you can just put in there whatever you like but keep in mind only two IQ fields are able to be activated in an activity. So I hope that helped you a little bit. Um, if you like the video I like to have a thumbs up. If you want to see other videos um, let me know what you want to know. I'm, I will make a video about this to make things easier for you. Um, as soon as you know how your watch works it is awesome. So, uh, 
yeah, as I said before, I hope you liked the video. Enjoy your day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.